in the beginning of the first quarter of the 20th century, in 1923 to be precise, the Ghani family, the renowned Paris publishers, built Le Chateau La Croix en A in Normandy, France. Fast forward almost a hundred years to 2019, and my two friends sold everything they had to buy the chateau. How sad and unloved it looked after many years abandoned. There was so very much to do, from knocking down wall to dancing to the gramophone. I love you to join Miss Anna and Peter as they take you on a journey to make the chateau truly splendid again. Love all those renovation projects. Come and join them with an insight into their life in France. I'll show you around, old sport. Part two. Welcome back to part two of our first floor landing project. We've got the ceiling to work on, and we want to do something quite special uh, with the ceiling. We've got these doors to treat, loads of sanding down to do, repainting gloss of the doors and of the windows, refinishing the floor, and hopefully that's it. So hope you enjoy this episode. Let's get cracking. So we have this old Alcatrave moulding um, that originally ran around the door frames here and where there was a door there. So we're going to use that for our picture rail. I'm going to reuse the timber, uh, run the picture rail up there. There's just enough just to wrap ourselves around here. And then above the picture rail is going white. And then wallpaper in the second, uh, the centre section. And then we're putting a dado rail in at this height, leading us all the way around there with fresh timber, which matches the fresh timber that we've put onto this wall here. So let's get on with that. boring job of re-corking uh, all of the gaps uh, which is horrible because it's got so much to do up around here and then in the window frame but Miss Anna is downstairs let's just take you downstairs she's doing the ceiling tiles um, isn't she pretty we did a video of this by the way uh, we framed her. 
It's 26 euros, I think 24 euros for that poster and your handmade frame. Anyway, let's, let's go downstairs. Here she is. 25 karat gold of this. Is that gold leaf? Yeah, 25 karat gold. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so what, what are you doing there, Miss Anna? I am painting gold at the moment onto our green ceiling tiles. So like a distressed... Adding a bit of flair. Okay, yeah, I like that. So we're gonna um, we're gonna put these um, not all over the ceiling. We're gonna box in um, with a wooden frame, 15 of these in the centre. So the ceiling will go, the wall will go up to a picture rail, and then it'll be white above the picture rail, and then up to the coving, and then uh, into the ceiling, they'll be white, and then meeting a gold frame with these in between. Yeah. So we're trying to put some. We're trying to put some grandeur back. Some, and I'm really liking what you're doing this there. So old grandeur, isn't it? It's just um, um, what do they call it? Um, I can't think of the word. An old time, time worn, time, time one, worn, that's distressed. It. Time worn grandeur. Yeah. We don't like to use the term shabby chic, do we? No, not we're not shabby chic no, people. We're not, no. Um, And then it just uh, it just pops out a little gold. The gold just pops out. So I think once that's bearing in mind the ceilings are 15 foot high. Yeah. Once that's up on the ceiling, it just needs to catch the light a little bit, and I think they'll look lovely, honey. They will, won't they? Brilliant job. You've only this got you've only got 15 we'll have, to go. This is the best ceiling we'll have in the house. <laughs> Not as good as the salon ceiling. Oh well, yeah, that was, yeah, that yeah, was, yeah. We've got to give ourselves credit for that because that, that was backbreaking. Hard work. Yeah, we nearly died doing that. <laughs> yeah, anyone wants to donate a plasterboard lifter? Uh, greatly received. <laughs> a bit yeah. late now, isn't it? Yeah. We oh no, we've got it. the top floor to do, yeah. haven't we? Oh yeah, we've got our suite to make. So I'll leave you down here, honey. You've got only got 15 of these to go. Yep. Nice dry brush, I see, which is good. Just a tiny amount. Yeah, this is nice. Is this an action brush? No. No, it's a Harris brush. Um, nice brushes they are. So uh, it's not a chuck away brush, that one. That's a, a wash and reuse. That will look great when it's on the ceiling. We'll get this up tonight. Why don't we get these up tonight, eh? Let's try, yeah. yeah. We'll try, won't we? Okay, honey, I'm going to love and leave you. Thanks. Yeah, it's difficult to see because uh, it's washed out with the light, but it looks good on the table. It looks good on the table. Okay, honey. Okay. Cheerio. This is the second coat of uh, plaster, just the finishing coat now. So we're going to let that dry and um, then it will need one last sand down. We've also uh, done the last coats on these wooden uh, uprights where they penetrate up into what's now going to be seen, this white line and extension to the ceiling. So now I'm just going to rub down the window surround after that's been filled and that's dried. Uh, and get that ready for its first coat of undercoat.
So this is part of the window furniture, uh, the window latch mechanism and these rods throw up and down to hold the windows and these are pretty little carriers and guides but just look at the thick paint over the ears and it's such a terrible job that people don't bother to take the furniture off they just paint everything um, and so it's lost all its detail over the years so this is my top tip um, and we've done this loads of times now so it's kind of normal is we have a beautiful roaring fire going all the time for the range and just throw this in it's never hot enough to melt them it just burns all the just burns all the paint off perfect so we bake that gas mark three for 120 minutes and we'll see what that comes out like <laughs> right we're back guys is it me or is that camera tilted a little bit yeah. hey guys we are out in the workshop we're taking a break from the landing because we've got loads of paint drying at the moment, haven't we? Yep, yeah, there's some more paint to do. It's going to need at least three or four co coats, isn't it? Yeah. Because the paint we bought is French paint. And it's very thin. It's like milk, isn't it? No, milk's whiter. We need like gold top, if you remember that. Anyway, so we're out of the workshop and we've got a couple of jobs to do. Um, We've got a light which we found, or uh, Miss Anna has found, uh, which I'm going to tell you a bit about that, but that's going to need some restoring. And we've got the door furniture to do, which Miss Anna's going to do. It's been in the fire, it's had all its paint taken off, and now it's over to Miss Anna and the gold department. From an auction in England, and it's from the Odeon Cinema. When they were built in the 1930s, this is what they put in the Odeon Cinemas. So it needs a bit of work though because it's broken, broken there, so we've lost all the pieces to hang it but we want it up on the ceiling like that, it's really pretty. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. Well, it's in them, it's exquisite, it's lighting like that. So let's just have a look at the damage we've got. Oh, got the chip out of there. Chip out of that corner, biggest problem is this. Yeah, we've got to find a way of hanging it, haven't we, to the ceiling, which would have it hung. Where's the hooks? Oh, there's one there, look, isn't there? Yeah. Okay, they're all broken. Yeah, so broken, there's one. The one that's very broken. So it's now time for Mr. Emery to come up with a master plan. To do. So what are you doing there, honey? Well, I am pushing the metal window fixtures. It's been on the fire and got rid of all the paint. Is why I'm pushing now. And I'm going to paint them gold. It's going to look lovely, isn't it? Yeah. But so, like the rest of the house, all well, most of them are gold fittings, aren't they? We like our gold. So we got the rod there. But in England, gold is not something we'd ever choose, is it? No. Hmm. But in a French house, a large house, gold looks good. So, you're going to carry on with that, and I'm going to get on with the lamp. Off, won't it? Uh, you don't have to get it all off, sweetheart. Just get the uh, just get the rough off.
Right, what just happened, Captain Emery? Well, I was just getting ready, put my gloves on. These ones here, there's probably a nest in there. Put my gloves on, went to go and start work, and I thought, ooh, that must be an iron filing or something. Oh, it's getting worse. Look at that. I took my glove off, and I couldn't see anything in the hand, but the pain was getting worse, and I thought, I've never had anything like that before. You know, normally you get pricked with a piece of metal, it hurts, but it goes away. And then, kind of thinking it must have been a spider or something. I looked in there and it's a poor wasp that's been hibernating and uh, it's got me thumb. <laughs> oh, he's up and about. Let's get him out. <laughs> he's very, very angry. <laughs> Off you go. Originally, I don't know if we can see, just see if we've got that on focus. Yeah, so originally, um, these I imagine were little hooks. And you can see the quality of the casting there is terrible. Um, but these screwed from the inside and then a hook on the outside that came out of these holes here. So there's four corners to cover. Uh, and then I imagine it would have had a chain that came up. So. We're going to need to do something with these four holes and chain. And what I've got here is some old garden hanging baskets. And each of these has got perfect for what we need. It's got a hook at the top. And in the house, we've got a hook that we need to, to oh, where were we? That we need to mate to. So uh, we need to just grab another another length of this chain and then see if that gives us the right sort of length okay so that's them done right so we've got four chains honey you take that one and that one. <laughs> oh god not again what's going on there i'll leave it to you okay <laughs> so that's your one I'll and your those two and the third one goes there. Do you know what? And the fourth one goes there. I think that's going to be about right. I'm sure we could just probably open them up, couldn't we? Let's try that. See? Open that up a little bit. Close that down. Probably go from the inside out, honey. Yeah? Oh, it's perfect, look. Perfect. We'll just have to... Just do the others, and then it's over to the painting department. Job to do. There's just one last job to do. Whatever was there is now missing. So I'm just going to search for a dome uh, nut, and we'll put a nut and bolt through there, give that a nice finish. I won't have a gold one. I'll only have chrome. Uh, so we're going to have to get Miss Anna to paint that too. You happy with these, honey? I think might need another coat. Oh, I don't know, yeah. I don't know. They look oh, right that was there. I'll give it a quick spray now, then. These the rods. Are rods are okay. Okay. Cup of tea time. <laughs> <laughs> Never tea time, always work time. No, it's cup of tea time, look. Um, I wouldn't want to be on the Titanic with you. There definitely isn't enough my pose, is there, Pete? Well, come on, let's make some buoyancy. Oh, it's a bit cold. Okay, do you want to be the first person to see if it's no hangs even? <laughs> That's heavy. Well, that looks even. Okay, done. I've got a little nipple in. Oh, 
nipple. A little nipple there. So, now we just need a light for it. Okay, the job now is to put some gold trim, some wood that we've painted gold. I'm just going to put that around the outside with a mitre joint in each of the corners. Let's get on with that.
Please help my good friends. Press like and subscribe to stay tuned for further adventures, old sport.